Welcome to a Mega Relay and Current Transformer Tester Virtual Reality Training. The Mega MRCT is a lightweight, robust, portable unit used to perform demagnetization, ratio, saturation, winding resistance, polarity, phase deviation and insulation tests on current transformers. In this training we are going to learn how to use MRCT unit for CT testing, review power DB management software and how different types of tests are performed. Let's have a look at the instrument. What we have here is a non-display version. Let's define all inputs and outputs. On the right side of the unit, we can find earth terminal for ground connection, inlet power plug socket for power supply, and a power switch. At the front panel, we can find 8 amps 300 volts binary output and a binary input with a maximum range of 300 volts. The relay option provides a unit with a 0 to 300 volts at 15 VA voltage channel, convertible to current rated for 5 amps at 150 VA continuously, and 15 amps at 120 VA for short durations, and a current channel with a range from 0 to 30 amps at 200 VA continuously, and up to 60 amps at 300 VA for short durations. Source voltage terminals for secondary windings connection and primary windings connection terminals can be found at the front panel as well. Each unit has three Ethernet ports. The one at the top is the control port when used with PC, a dedicated STVI port at the bottom to connect smart touch view interface for unit control, and a standard Ethernet port right next to it. An emergency stop button is also located at the front panel. MRCT comes with a variety of accessories. In our current setup, we have a power cord, an Ethernet crossover cable for interconnection to PC, primary and secondary test leads, ground lead, and clamps for primary leads connection. Let's start by powering the unit. Remember that the ground terminal should be the first one to be connected and the last one to be disconnected. A solid ground connection is important to obtain good results. Connect the ground lead and a power cord to a unit and a power outlet. Then connect an ethernet cable and turn on the power switch. After the PowerDB software been launched we presented with the instrument selection screen. For our case, go on and select MRCT on a screen. Make sure use Ethernet is selected and hit OK button. On the next pop-up window make sure that instrument transformer management software is selected and click OK. Select the upper left corner device connection icon to initialize the connection of a PC to the MRCT. Alright, we have successfully connected a unit to a PC. Once you are connected to the unit you are presented with the home screen where you can find different types of tests. Ratio, saturation, winding resistance, insulation and a burden test. The following operations are available when the MRCT is in CT testing mode. You can also do a manual demagnetization, manual test in a self-diagnostic of the unit. You can run all these tests separately or select run all tests and the unit will perform the sequence of selected tests automatically. A self-test is always a good idea to make sure the unit is working properly before attempting any field testing. Let's select self-diagnostic from the test screen to perform a self-test. Selection of the self-diagnostic navigation button from the home screen will display a connection diagram. Let's assemble the circuit shown on the diagram. Color-coded secondary and primary test leads are provided. Each lead is marked to indicate where it should be connected on the instrument and on the test object, which makes the connection diagrams very easy to follow. For this test take the secondary test leads and connect X1 and X1S voltage source terminals for secondary windings connection to H1 terminal for primary windings connection and X5 and X5S to H2. Use a set of secondary test leads to assemble the circuit. After ensuring the MRCT is connected properly as in the diagram, hit the blue play button to begin the test. Self-diagnostic test passed. Hit the green check button to go back to the test screen. 
To continue exploring CT testing using Mega Relay and Current Transformer Tester, select the desired test from the test screen. We are presented with the ratio test screen. Within this screen, the user can select between concurrent and non-concurrent testing. When concurrent mode of testing is selected, the user is required to select how many taps is desired to test simultaneously. However, if the non-concurrent mode of testing is selected, the user is required to select which individual tap is desired. Select one of the methods by pressing the corresponding button on the test screen. If non-concurrent method is selected, specify the taps by pressing the select tap button and hit the blue play button to run the test. We are presented with a connection diagram for a 5-tap current transformer. When it comes to testing with MRCT, it worth noting that most of the tests can be performed with a single connection diagram. A winding resistance, ratio, saturation and insulation tests can be performed without ever changing the connections. Let's connect the instrument to a current transformer starting with connection to a secondary winding of the current transformer. Take the leads one by one from one end of the set of secondary test leads, take the other ends of the secondary test leads and connect them to a corresponding taps on the current transformer. Take H1, H2 and a shield leads and connect them to a corresponding terminals for primary windings connection at the front panel of the instrument. Take the large clips on the other end, pass one of the leads through the CT and connect the clips to create a primary circuit. After ensuring the MRCT is connected properly as in the diagram, hit the blue play button to begin the test. Now we ask to specify the voltage applied on selected taps to test ratio. The value should be between 0 and 300 volts. For the learning purposes we gonna stick with 120 volts. Press the blue play button to begin the test. The test is currently running. The method used by the MRCT compares a voltage applied to the secondary winding to the resulting voltage produced on the primary winding. For example, if 1 volt per turn is applied to the secondary winding, the voltage present on the primary winding would be 1 volt. More specifically, if 120 volts were applied to the secondary of a 600 to 5 current transformer, 120 to 1 ratio, 1 volt would be present on the primary winding. Test results are shown on the screen. Once the results have been reviewed, Press the upper left corner home button to turn back to the test screen. We are presented with the winding test screen. Within this screen, the user can select between concurrent and non-concurrent testing and use the zero leads button to zero out the leads from the measurement. This will ensure no resistance from the leads is included in the resistance measurement and improve the accuracy of the measurement. Press the blue play button to begin test. Winding resistance in a CT will change over a period of time depending on the specimen age, use, external conditions and loading effect. Winding resistance test is used to determine if the DC resistance of the CT secondary winding is within specification or not. A test is currently running. A DC current is applied and voltage is measured to determine the winding resistance for the selected tap. The MRCT displays the real-time voltage and DC current readings of the secondary X winding while the test is in progress. After measurement, winding resistance is displayed in digital format on the screen. The remnant magnetism can cause various problems such as erroneous diagnostic electrical measurements on a transformer or incorrect operation of protective relays due to magnetized CT cores. To eliminate this source of potential problems, the demagnetization of the transformer should be performed. The MRCT has the ability to automatically and manually demagnetize the CT under test. This demagnetization routine is useful to ensure that the CT saturation test yield correct results. Let's have a look at the current transformer. A ferromagnetic material placed in an external magnetic field develops a strong magnetic dipole moment, resulting in the alignment of those moments of the atoms. 
A core demagnetization is performed by applying alternating DC current with decreasing magnitude down to zero, following a proprietary developed program. The alternative DC current acts like a coercive force and produces reverse magnetic field, which must be applied to a magnetic material to make the magnetic flux return, and with every direction change make these atomic dipole moments orient randomly. The relationship between the induced magnetic flux density and the magnetizing force is shown on the screen. By reducing the magnitude of the applied current to the zero value, the total magnetic flux, or remnant magnetism, is also annulled. Demagnetization of the CT is completed. Winding resistance is displayed in digital format on the screen. Once the results have been reviewed, press the upper left corner home button to turn back to the test screen. We are presented with the saturation test screen. Within this screen, the user can select between concurrent and non-concurrent testing and either select knee point auto find or specify estimated knee voltage manually. For now, we gonna leave a concurrent method of testing and a knee point auto find. Press the blue play button to begin the test. A CT saturation test is currently running. When a CT is saturated, the magnetic path inside the CT operates like a short circuit on the transmission line. Almost all of the energy supplied by the primary winding is shunted away from the secondary winding, and is used to create a magnetic field inside the CT. Saturation testing for a current transformer identifies the rated knee point against IEEE or IEC standards, the point at which the transformer is no longer able to output current in proportion to its specified ratio. Excitation tests are performed by applying an AC voltage to the secondary winding of the CT and increasing the voltage in steps until the CT is in saturation. The knee point is determined by observing a small voltage increase causing a large increase in current. Test results are shown on the screen along with the excitation curves.